Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the smallest Class C motorhome that you can buy for 2021. This is the all new 2021 Coachman Freelander Model 21 QB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV reviews it's the world's only channel giving you the true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs and again today I am super excited double excited because they brought back the 21 QB what a lot of people don't realize is if you guys saw my video last year on the 22 XG that was replacing this model and it had the flip up bed with that back door well, the people have spoken, and not everybody likes that back door with the flip-up bed. That's why they have brought back the 21 QB for 2021. Super excited to show it to you. But before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everyone. I'm melting. Oh, no. How are you? I'm melting. Oh, you're melting? You but feeling guys, good, though? guys, I'm, I'm feeling great. Hey, I forgot. Uh, it my mess up. By the way, Una graduates puppy school tomorrow. Uh -huh. I said we were going to be doing like a, a, either a video or pictures. Actually, that will be on Thursday's video this week. Wham, wham. So and make sure you stay tuned. Yes, and we are going to have a very special video this Friday as well. Yay! Make sure you guys, uh, you're, you're not going to want to miss that. We will have like a special announcement coming out. <laughs> so don't miss. All right, so let's get started. Model is 21 QB. But the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 24 feet 6 inches. This is the Coachman Freelander, entry level small class C, price point class C. This is one of the best price class C's in the nation, folks. And it's powered on the Chevy 4500 chassis. This is a 6.0 liter V8 engine. And what's really funny is the Chevy chassis is always the cheaper alternative, but I really do like the leg space for the passenger seat area. Up front there, we do have a nice bunk over the cab, Coachman Freelander. Coming down the side, there's not a lot going on on the outside of these motorhomes. Oops, forgot about the tires. The tires, they're the uh, grabber tires. <laughs> LT 225-75 R16. Coming down the side here, no side cameras, uh, but you do have a nice power awning. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Good size awning. Great, right, nice power awning with LED lights. I love that. Because this is a Coachman Motorhome, they do use the Asdell sidewall composite, which is a green material that will never delaminate on you. And then right there, you can see it is prepped for solar. And then here is your propane tank. And Andrea, I don't know the propane tank sizes, but I will have the lengths, widths, specs, everything about this motorhome down in the description below. Also right here. Bing, for everybody to watch on television. And then right here we do have coax and power for outside entertainment. Right here you have your propane quick connect. I love that because you have an outside grill. And uh, the what's great about this, this is storage right here. Now the 22XG had that back door with the flip up bed for great exterior storage, but not everybody wanted that. Some people want exterior wow. storage. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Ain't that awesome? That's it's just so crazy. crazy. Yeah, it's crazy to get this type of storage in a Class C motorhome. Uh, and then look at the plastic part. There's little holes right there. So if you fill it up with ice or water, it drain. will all drain out. Wow, Matt. And this is 24 feet? Uh, yeah, but people call it a 21 footer. Wow, right. that's insane, that storage. Coming around the back, you do have a nice rear bumper for your stinky slinky. No ladder. Wamp, wamp. Uh, here's the other side of that storage. That's awesome. I wish it did have a ladder. Uh, it does have a one-piece cross-flex roof, uh, and it's like the PVC, uh, like a uh, cross mesh. It's nice, one AC unit. And then you do have your backup camera there. Also, uh, you have a 5,000 pound hitch in this motorhome, can tow 5,000 pounds. Wow. 
30 amp power external cord right coming around here we have your city water connection cable now look th these hoses these hookups are exposed but i'm not mad about that because again this is a very price point unit so it's it's when units are like a hundred thousand dollars i get mad about this but when you hear the price of this you'll really like it right here's your fuel fill up and then down below oh. that's where you dump your black and gray tank okay finishing up with the outside here's your water heater right here again not mad that there's no decals over it price point unit here's your cummins onan 4000 generator and yeah that's the outside well andrea the outside of this motorhome looks great but it looks even better on the inside let's go take a look i actually can't wait to see this get the cargo carrying capacity baby thank you you're welcome cargo wow. carrying capacity wow four thousand no yeah four thousand five hundred forty four pounds wow that's a lot sure is okay so here it is guys no slides look at this i got plenty of space let's see the bathroom okay there's the bed wow this is what it's like all the time yep and uh since there's no slide outs i do have a favor to ask everybody if you could please leave down in the comments below let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like we do know coachman's a big fan of the show and the more people who comment and make recommendations the more uh, YouTube likes to promote our videos and the more Coachman likes to make innovations. Like there's one big key change about this floor plan that I'll show you in a few minutes. But Andrea, let's get started. Up here in the cockpit area, nice Chevy chassis, you know, real nice and simple. Again, this is the cheaper alternative, but it's not that bad. You got power plugs there. This is where you can see your camera behind you and yeah it, i'm pretty comfortable in it yeah it why looks, don't you sit in my co-captain you know, seat it looks very spacey it is it's it's even the new ford engines it's still more spacious um not that okay. i'd get this over that i'm just saying you know there's oh. pros and cons oh yeah and with nothing behind you yeah i like it and something that's really attractive about this floor plan is you know since there is no slides this is the unit when you're driving and when you're parked Come on out. I like the cup holders there. Okay, I like the floor right here too. Yep. I don't have a big step up. Now over here, the bunk over the cab, this holds 350 pounds. I love that and it's actually a pretty decent size. Your TV is on a swing arm right here. It's the Furion television. And yeah, I mean, pretty basic. I mean, you know, it's a pretty basic Class C. You got a little bit of storage up there, but over here above the u-shaped dinette we got storage above there and storage above there okay now look new change for this year what they did last year they kind of did like that J a half moon crest no, no no it was it was a u but but it was like a lowercase u this is like an uppercase u and i love that because you know this is an actual seat. You know, you can actually see a good amount of people around here. And actually, I'm a huge fan of this because this is how, exactly how I would sit. I'd have my laptop right here and be very comfortable. And then right here, you do have a window uh, right there. <laughs> I love those blinds. And then also there is seat belts all around. And then there is a little bit of storage underneath nice and that does drop down to make a bed sure does uh, a nice adult size bed at that it looks like it well Andre, you want to show us the kitchen yes do you want to do the msrp oh dang damn it i gotta keep you straight it's now time <laughs> for the msrp burr, 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 burr. msrp on this motorhome here is eighty three thousand seven hundred and ninety eight dollars msrp we have it Sale price twenty three percent off to sixty four wow. nine nine nine. That is a phenomenal price. But Andrea, I can get you a lot better price than that because because this is the 
current model year, that's the lowest we're allowed to advertise it for, but we're selling it cheaper. Andrea, tell everybody how to get a lower price. You can call, you can text, you can email, or you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website mattsrvreviews.com where you can get an official Matt's RV review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page down below. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, so you want to stand from oh, back there, babe? From, from over here? <laughs> or, yeah, I, I meant back here, but that's okay. Okay, so here we go. Not much, little kitchen. Little RV. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with this cabinet here. Uh-huh. Oh, look at that. Very nice. It has a shelf back there. Yes. We have mini blinds right here and a little window. Uh-huh. That's cute. We have a, a, a good size sink for how little the counter is. Yep, very uh, nice. I miss if there's an extension. I would have added an extra counter space over here. Yep. Um, nice cabinet under there. We got a microwave. Wow. Wow. That is, yeah, that's not a convection oven. Nope. We got a three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Uh-huh. And we have a nice drawer here. Another big drawer here. And you actually get a campsite fridge in here, which is great. This runs yeah. off the pro wait, this two way fridge. The, yeah, I was gonna two say. way fridge, propane and electric. But normally you would get a smaller one. In a small class C like this, so I am a big fan of the I big like fridge. that they're actually putting the camp size in here. Yeah, for sure. But that's the kitchen, guys. Well, that could oh. be part of the kitchen or the living room. Well, that looks or the like bedroom. the wardrobe. Yep. But I guess you could put food in here as well. Yep. And then we got, you got the two drawer. drawers here. Nice size drawers. Uh huh. And then there's your furnace right there. Okay, now in the bedroom, just like that, <laughs> we got the corner bed, which again, you know, Andre and I aren't fans of corner beds, but at the same time, we just bought an RV with a corner bed. So it's kind of like, you know, there's give and takes and pros and cons with yes. everything. One of the big pros about the corner bed is that somebody's able to lay down in it without putting the slide outs out or while driving down the road or whatever. Oh, notice that right there behind the Yeah, I did see that. I was wondering it's what a that was. Seatbelt tether. Oh, good. Yep. That's awesome. You got your AC control, and I like how you got the windows on each side. And Andre, how do you like the balances? Um, they're okay. Are they Art Deco? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do see electrical outlet here and a cable, so you could put a TV somewhere up over here. And there is another electrical outlet back there and the USB port near thermostat, light switch. And in here we have openings for fans. Yep, it's prepped for them. Cool, now it's time to check out the bathroom. Okay. Wow, really good size shower for a really small motorhome. You know, I personally prefer this door. I like it. I like how it's on a curvature. What say you? Um, I don't know. I, I think I would have rather have the uh, the Nautilus type. What's that mean? It's you know what I. Where do we see them on? Sometimes you see them on the Aces or where it's like it's all together and it's not like this at the top. Okay. So it's all one piece. Okay. All right. But, still. but it just stays closed better. I just me. I just don't want to have water coming out somewhere. Yeah. Why don't you show the sink? Um. Yeah, nice little sink here, very cute. You have a mirror here, a cabinet under there. Uh-huh. And then a towel holder, and then another cabinet. I guess that would be your medicine cabinet. Yep. So now we have to switch so I can get you on the toilet. You Tom. can do your toilet test. It's down for the toilet test. Okay, caddy corner. Yep, that ain't gonna be good. Oh, look at your leg there. Can you Mwah. try to close the door? Mwah. Mwah. Well, yeah, oh, I can actually tight. make that work. No, 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 that's not the problem. The problem is my thigh is digging into this and there's no toilet paper, not even on it. Then another problem, it's a plastic toilet. I mean, come on. With a 4,500 pounds of cargo carrying capacity, I'd expect a porcelain toilet. I agree. Fail failure <laughs> well that's it andrea that's the review now before everybody leaves it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it andrea what should we do first let's do three things we like about it okay first i'm gonna go first first 
I love this big U-shaped dinette. I love the space. I love how big it is. I like sitting in it. I like how many seatbelts are around it. And it's actually a functioning dinette. And when it does drop down, it makes an adult uh, a bed big enough for an adult to actually sleep on. I love that. So that's one. Two. I'm going to say the size of the fridge in here. Great point. Uh, with this being so small of a motorhome, yep. I'm just, you know, I, I'm really glad they put a bigger size fridge in here. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's just big and fantastic. Yes. And a lot of times, Andre is 100% right. When, when you, you know, they're, when you're in a motorhome this small, you got to fight for all the square inch. And so I'd rather have the bigger fridge. And then three, third thing I absolutely love about this motorhome is this exterior storage. I mean, you can fit bikes, some kayaks, maybe foldable kayaks. Crates. Crates, inflatable tents. It's awesome. Tables, crafts, rocks, soda pops. Whatever you think, whatever you want to put in there, you can put in there. And it's totally awesome because, again, what's so great about this is you can have your stuff in here and you can still use the bed. Whereas the 22XG, when you have that awesome storage, you can't use the bed because the bed flips up. Great, so that's three things we don't like. Now, no, that's three things we love. <laughs> now it's time for three things we don't like about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. Andrea? Uh, I'm gonna go first. So, you know, I, I, I wish, I'd like to see them to do a different table. Uh, maybe like a lagoon table where you can actually spin it. What's a lagoon table? You never seen them? They're pretty cool. Like you can actually turn them this yeah, way yeah, yeah. and that way. No, one thousand percent. And a lot it, of times they're not in there. Like, well, it would have been better with one table leg, yeah. one center leg instead of the two legs. Yeah, right because there. I could see if we were in something like this, you would want to move the table. Yep. So I get it. I I one hundred percent agree. So that's a dislike. My second dislike is going to be a microwave that's not a convection oven. And I'm okay if it's a regular microwave, if it has a regular oven. And here's the deal, people don't even use the ovens, but still, don't tell me if I have to use an oven or not. I wanna have the, I feel like the microwave convection ovens don't take up that much more space, you know? Just doesn't make sense, I wish they would've had that. And yeah, that's two. Can I go? And then three. Or are you gonna say the toilet? Who wants to go? <laughs> No, you want to go again? Okay, this is so important, okay? Lack of counter space. But can you be mad about a small motorhome well, with lack of I counter know, space? I know Coachman can do it. I've seen it on their other products. They could have put an extension here. Or, yeah. Or some kind of pull out somewhere where you have counter, because this, this, this is not enough to prepare food. I guess you would definitely have to use a dinette. We've seen more countertop spaces in class B's. <laughs> But yeah, that's my dislike. Okie dokie. That, that's it. The jury has spoken. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this RV, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell number. Or check us out online. It's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Again, you can buy your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! That will look great on the back of anybody's motorhome. Andrea, do you do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Coachman does read the comments, so let's hope we can change RV history. I hope you guys are doing well and you guys are staying safe. Uh, make sure to tune in to our special video Friday and, and Thursday for Yuna. Perfect. Thanks so much, guys. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.